Hello, it is Monday evening, January 18th, 2021. Hope everybody had a good day. Um, yeah. Go from home, work from work. The usual stuff there. Tomorrow will be work and then class and stuff. Um, so I was practicing tomorrow's thing on Sunday. And this one I realized... Um, late yesterday that, with it being Martin Luther King Day, um, should play something related to that, as opposed to what I originally had planned, which I'll do on Thursday, I guess, because Wednesday's a wacky Wagner Wednesday. Um, so, aren't too many Martin Luther King songs, as much as I can remember, but the one I can think of is Stevie Wonder's Happy Birthday from 1980. Um, which he wrote, um, came from the album Hotter Than July. Uh, it was basically to help with the campaign to make Martin Luther King Day a um, national holiday, which was signed by President Reagan in 1983, and the first official Martin Luther King Jr. Day was on January 20th, 1986. And I remember... Growing up and going to Mapledale School, always having a Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, commemoration and big assembly on what would become that holiday when we still would have school. Um, so I'm learning a lot about him. Um, so yeah, um, on my page, um, there's a link to all of the quotes that are on the um, walls of the memorial in Washington, D.C., um, along the tidal basin. So, without further ado, because I want to get back to the um, Martin Luther King NBA uh, triple header, I guess. At least the Bucks. And that's one where the Bucks are currently losing at the beginning of the fourth quarter, ninety four eighty nine. But here we go with "Happy Birthday" by Stevie Wonder. <laughs>
Stevie Wonder from 1980, which has become kind of a generic birthday song, but it's really to commemorate the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, national holiday since 1986. All right. Well, uh, be well, be safe, be kind, uh, all those wonderful things. Spread joy, peace, and love, and we'll see you later. Bye.